All right, everybody, we finally got a break in the action. It's uh, actually, it's Saturday afternoon and wind looks like it's halfway calmed down. So I'm at the Heikmeister's house. We're taking his boat out again. He uh, is, uh, that boat is running like, like there's no tomorrow, man. It's, I'm, I'm trying to talk him into keeping it. Anyway, we're gonna go head out today. Hopefully the humps maybe, uh, do some jigging, do some trolling, get some fish, put some fish in a box. You know the deal. And it's Miami boat weekend, so we're gonna hit the boat show tomorrow. So um, let's hope we can hit it today, get some fish, and uh, make it an absolutely awesome video day for you guys and a really, really good fishing day for us guys. So follow us. I'm really looking forward to just getting out and just doing some fishing today. How's it going, man? Good, man. How are you, you guys good? ready to go nail it today or what? You got bonita strips, right? Bonita? Uh, we'll see if you like these or not. If not, I got a couple of rig value here too. Okay. What's wrong with them, you think? So, they're old. They've been laying around in the freezer for a while, but I think if we hydrate them up, they should look all right. They should. As long as they're something's better than nothing. I got these double hooked for the banana strips. Okay, cool. And then uh, single hook. You like got one sea witch. I got a couple of rig ballyhoo, so. Sweet. Heck yeah. That might do the job too. Yo! What up, dog? Hey, man! What up, what up? So, Oahu, Amahi, and a tuna, I think, would be probably. Are you putting your order in? Dave? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> what I want. That's what, I want. <laughs> what do you think? We got the mighty Sammy on board today. Yeah, this is it. We're, we're, we're putting all of our ducks. We're putting everything that we that we have in your basket. Oh man! This don't is do it. That. This is it. <laughs> I'm 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 giving up all autonomy here. I am at your. I'm, I'll take orders from the mighty Sammy, uh -huh. and that's it. We're gonna catch fish today. Well, I'm putting my stock in Sammy today. That's all there is to it. Here we go. That's it. And you know what? The best part of that is. We don't catch anything, then we blame Sammy. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful like Sammy. Idea. Yeah, I usually just blame we would have caught fish if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I usually just blame the captain. So Mike goes. That's oh, are we blaming the captain today? <laughs> Is that one of mine? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's gonna get wrecked. Go. It's gonna get wrecked. I got this one behind you right there. All right. Man. Whoops. Let's not step on that one. Sorry That'll about be that. Good. All right, that one's beautiful. We are out here. That's a nice rig. We're going. Yeah. All going right. For it. Told you. It's, it's Sammy Day. Woo. Sammy is showing us to be the true professional he is. We have five rods out. We, we go. got two down. We got two feathers up. And then we got a big chugger with a ballyhoo out there. We also got a, a bonita strip, one of the bonita strips that I made from that last bonita I got. So we are rolling, man. Five rods out. That's looking good. That's a good looking spread. Yes, sir. Which one's first? Wait, will it be up top? Will it be the planer? Will it be the weight? Or the infamous feathers? Dun, dun, dun. Only time will tell. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. Another Mahi. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? I'm clearing this. I'm sitting here watching, enjoying myself, saying, what am I supposed to be doing here, Dan? Let's go. Let's get. Uh huh. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. I hear you. I'm not thinking his biggest hands, but. We got a flipper. He's a flipper. Yeah, he's a little mahi. Keeper though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. oh yeah, he's a keeper. Absolutely. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. Coming in. Coming in, coming in hot. Woo. Nice fish. Nice fish. Good, good. All right. Fish number two. We'll take it. I'm sorry, what's that in his mouth? What oh, did he hit? Same one. I'll be damned. How about that? <laughs> All right, excellent. All right, another fish in the box. Into the box we go. On days like today, look at find that. A bird. Oh, yeah. That's all it takes, huh? Nice, guys. One bird, that's all it takes. Point. A little bird flying around, troll to it. One bird. Yeah, One little bird. So uh, we got two. I'm not going to say we're not working for them. We are working. We're working, we're working pretty hard. But it, we're, the, it's nice. The team is working hard. It's enjoyable work. It is enjoyable work. And now we're gonna head to where? Another spot. We're heading to some wrecks now and a little wrecks. shallower. We're going to wrecks. And we're gonna wreck the fish when we get to the wrecks. So keep following us. I'm telling you, it's gonna get better. All right, we just found the holy grail. A floating pallet. 
You know, you know, you know the thing you only hear about, but never really actually ever see in the water. <laughs> the loading pallet. Damn, that's picture perfect. Gotta be something on that. Come on. If anything, we need to drop a jig next to it. Yeah. When we're done playing with it. I'm gonna tell you what, everybody got real serious when we started to see that pallet. Yeah. All right, so we uh, we ran a couple of uh, feathers past it, nothing. But I think it might, might be a good idea if we could just drop a jig down and see if there uh, maybe a yeah, wahoo sitting underneath it. You got a jig set up? No. Uh, it's gonna take me a minute. Well, it wouldn't take me long to do it. Just in there, man. Yo, hands in the game. There might be a wahoo down there. Though. Never know. Might be a wahoo down there. Never know. We had a mark. Oh yeah. Sixty feet down a while ago when we first pulled up. Definitely great find. It's more life down here. Can't believe it's a full pallet. That is a. Thought the holy grail. Down. Always. Yeah, You're always looking for that. Always <laughs> looking for the pallet. Go figure. You never know. Michael's got a top water plug. We got the feather out. Sammy's, Sammy's running a feather. I'm running a jig. How many feet of water are we at? 292. 292. I see your jig down there. Yeah. <laughs> you see anything near it that wants to eat it? Uh, kind of looked like it for a second. Sorrowfully, it was uneventful. 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 Un it's a beautiful sunset. We had a good day. We worked so hard. We had an A-team out here today. There they are right there. Sammy put us on. Heiko, Heiko found the way out there somehow. And here we are. Here we are. In the middle of February, literally middle of February. Could be worse. And it could be, we could be shoveling snow tomorrow, but we won't be. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. Just saying. Ooh -wee. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for following us. We're gonna head back in and get on in and uh, grab some dinner. I'm starved. that we are in the kitchen and we're gonna uh, we're gonna make this beautiful magi a completely different way a way I have never even made before and it's called aqua pasta and I believe that what it means in Italian is crazy water so we're gonna make crazy water magi and it looks absolutely fantastic I've got all the ingredients laid out like we showed you and I'm gonna start to put it together now so I've already popped some olive oil into my pan and I can't tell you I can't tell you how excited I am about this so you're gonna watch this thing in real time basically um, come together as I make it and we're either gonna eat it and love it or eat it and fall on the floor and die I mean one of the two that's I mean I'm gonna make Elizabeth sick to her stomach or she's going to love me to, even more than she does now because that's impossible <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, where'd you so, find this recipe, by the way? Oh, Elizabeth found the recipe. I'm not sure where she, she pulled it out of thin air and she said, hey, look at this thing. And of course, we always do Italian food at least once a week. So this is kind of like our substitute. And I wanted to do something different with the mahi. So I asked her, I said, hey, let's look for something different. And this came about. And I'm telling you right now, from what I can tell, this thing should be absolutely scrumptious. What you saw before, I've got some onion and some fennel. Fennel is something new for us. And I'm gonna just throw it in there. Uh -huh, get a little psh, I like that, like that sound. And get that going. So fennel, fennel is something that uh, is gonna taste a little bit like licorice. And I know that sounds weird, right? like licorice in your food. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Elizabeth does not like licorice at all. But we're assured that this really won't taste like licorice. All right, so we're gonna let that go for a couple minutes. Throw some garlic in there. Uh, 
And this is the red chili pepper. I don't know what this is gonna do to us. This might, this might smoke us out of the house here. Elizabeth likes spicy, so we are going spicy. That is a full blown red chili pepper in there. I and mean, we'll see. Now I'm gonna take these cherry tomatoes that I just kind of cut up and they're going right in also. And with that, my two bay leaves, optional, but I do like, like cooking with bay leaves. Whenever I'm cooking tomatoes, cooking a sauce, bay leaves gotta go. This is part of the deal. Also put a little salt in to taste. Up to you, how much you wanna put in. According to some of the research that I did in making this dish, you can make it with any real firm white fish, which is why I'm so happy to be doing something different with the mahi. I'm adding this. This is gonna be my own little, my own little spiel here. But I'm throwing in a couple of these pitted Kalamatra olives. They are purple olives. They add a lot of flavor. And instead of using like, well, I don't even know, maybe even like, uh, what would you call those little? Capers. Yeah, maybe instead of using capers. I mean, you're gonna even use a little of the juice here. I'll tell you right now, that is gonna make the difference. Is it smells so good so far? Right. Here comes some white, uh, some white wine. I'm gonna measure it. <laughs> yeah, good, white wine. And now we're gonna reduce this down to about half. I'm gonna throw a little bit of parsley, some fresh parsley. There we go. I lower the heat a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of reduce it now. Once it gets reduced and the alcohol cooks out of the uh, out of the wine. So you guys, by now, if you watch our, our cooking videos, you know that Elizabeth loves anything that's like Mediterranean kind of food. Look at this. Look at the look of that. And the olives really kind of really make it happen. All right, we're gonna reduce it down and, and we're gonna come back. If you take a look at that, okay. all of the alcohol is out. And I'm gonna put in about a cup and a half of water. And maybe just a little bit more. This is all this is all about eyeballing it at this point. And now we're gonna simmer this for about 20 minutes. So we'll just put the cover on and just gently simmer it until it again reduces a little bit, and then we'll we'll, we'll poach the fish. Before we simmer for 20 minutes. I put these parsley stems in there. We're not gonna eat them, but the stems have a very, a lot of flavor. So we're gonna just lay them in there as this simmers down. We're gonna probably simmer for about 20 minutes uh, until it comes, gets down a little bit. It's gonna come up with a beautiful sauce. Uh, we'll take those stems out and then we're gonna put the fish in and we'll just lay the fish in there and let it poach up and then we're gonna put it over some beautiful focaccia bread. And the focaccia will, the bread, will soak up all of this delicious sauce with the fish sitting on top. And then we're gonna put some basil on it. And I'm like, I'm just getting excited just talking about it. So, so just, just hang tight and we're gonna come back as soon as this thing reduces down in about 20 minutes. We got like, we've been simmering for 20 minutes. It's really reduced down a lot. It took a little taste to make sure it wasn't uh, too salty and it was really nice. So we're gonna take out the stalks. I just don't want, we don't wanna be chewing on the stalks. Right now the best is yet to come. Now it's time for the mahi, the fresh mahi. So what I'm gonna plan to do here is just kinda lay it in. Real nice, just lay it in there. Man, I can't wait. Look at this beautiful piece, how nice and thick that is. That was, that was the beauty of that, of that gaffer mahi. And I don't think I want to overdo it, so I, think I might just want to put maybe one more fish or piece in there and then maybe not the rest. Let's see. What do you think, Elizabeth? We got this left over. Uh, I think we should leave it like it is. Think that'll be enough for dinner? Yeah. Fresh basil leaves. So I'm going to 
throw those in there also. I'm going to try to get the little ones. And we have flavor and make the dish look beautiful. And then we'll also put some on the final dish when we actually plate it. All right. Look how beautiful. All right, time to cover it up. Probably poach it for about, let's say five to six minutes, and then we'll check it and see if it flakes. And if it flakes really nice, then we'll we'll get it on the plate. And I'm waiting to see this plate. It's gonna be awesome. It's, uh, they look they look great. And uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. I'm just gonna turn it down. That's actually a low simmer. So we made some focaccia today, fresh. And then we cut it into pieces and we're going to lay it into the bowl itself. And then we're going to put some of the fish right on top of it. And then we'll use that sauce to kind of soak it up. So I'm looking forward to that. This should be, this should be amazing. So take some of this beautiful sauce. Look at this sauce. Nice. Piece of the fish, lay it right in the middle. All right, no Italian meal with tomatoes and parsley and basil is complete without a little fresh Parmesan, which looks freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say Grace first. Okie dokie. Here we go. I need a, I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Got some fennel, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, and the fish. That mahi was amazing. Um, I love spicy and this is spicy. It's rich and it's delicious and it finishes with like a spice in the back of your mouth. If you don't like spice, maybe dial it back on the, um, on that chili pepper, but I love spice and I think this is perfect. The fennel does not taste like what you would think it does. I always associate fennel with like heavy licorice flavor, but somehow it's turned into like this mild richness, I don't know. I'm not going to question it, but it's delicious. Okay. So you, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Now let me take a bite of this. Yeah. 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 That's what caught you in. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So you love the focaccia just by itself, but mm -hmm. then to dunk it in there. It is next level good. Wow. Okay. So good. You got to try it. Oh, now it's my turn. So I have to say, just like looking at it, aesthetically, it's a beautiful dish. I mean, it's got all the colors, it's got green, it's got that. I love the, um, the olives. We put the, I put the olives in. That was my embellishment. But I just thought that was the way to go with that. And we've been looking for ways to, you know, cook fresh fish so that I'll like it more actually. I think you're gonna love this. Yeah. <laughs> I really want some of the fat. I want it all, like you said. I want it all. I want, I want a little bit of the, yeah, the tomatoes, the fish, the fennel. Come here, fish. Okay, got it. I'm in. Show me a bite. All right, here we go. So, nice. All right. The fennel is the fennel is interesting to me that we would use fennel in a dish. Hmm. Bingo. Holy crap. I told you it's so good. I wasn't exaggerating. Oh my God, the sauce on the bottom is, uh, it's amazing. And that goes right, I mean, the fish is firm. This is a good fish to make it with. Mm -hmm. There's some fish that they said do not make it with. Like don't make it with swordfish. Don't make it with anything oily like tuna. You want a firm white fish like codfish or haddock. And they didn't say mahi, but there it is. And it's, it's really, I'm going to do a piece of bread. It's so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, hands down, and this is a home run dish. We'll, we'll, this is going to be a staple in our house. 
Yeah, for I sure. Love this. It is spicy, but I use an entire pepper, and that is an option. You can use none, all summer or none. Uh, Elizabeth loves it really spicy, and so do I, so it's really good. You don't have to use focaccia, like, like we made this today. I could show you how to do that on another video. But you can use any hard bread or any kind of um, like what are those rolls. Yeah, like a baguette. Or those little square rolls that they make. Chib uh, ciabattas? Or, uh, Maybe. Uh, I don't know. There's you know a, a myriad of types of bread that you could put on the bottom of this. Just like you would if you had mussels. Like, you, know, you know when you get mussels and you, and you soak the, the, the bread? Same idea. This is unbelievable. So, all right. Home run for me. I agree. Yeah. So good. All right. Beautiful. Which is, I'm, I'm just sitting here and we're, we're, we're just, you know, we're plowing through this and I'm like, Elizabeth, look at this fish. Look at this fish. I mean, this beautiful piece of fish, the way it just kind of plops off. This is a totally different way of cooking mahi. Everybody, you know, you fry it, you do it, you, you know, make tacos out of it. This is, this is next level. And it's, oh, you know what the thing is too? Easy. This was one of the easiest recipes we ever put together. It was a piece of cake. There was maybe about mm, 15 minutes of prep, just getting everything ready. Once it starts going into the into the into the pan, boom! It was boom, 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 easy. So yeah. this is great. I think it's really hard to mess up mahi, but this is exceptional. Yeah, this is really, really, really good. This is restaurant restaurant quality. Oh, here. for sure, I'd pay money, big money for yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, easy to do, easy. So that was probably one of the best fish meals I probably really ever had. I yeah, it was I really so delicious. That. The fennel somehow lost its licorice flavor and then mm -hmm. added a like richness and a sweetness to the sauce. Oh, so good. Sauce got rich. Yeah. I didn't put any butter, like sometimes I put, anyway, not, I, it got, try it. Just try it. It's so easy. It's an easy recipe and it came together like that and I am now a mahi fish fennel lover. <laughs> Anyway, it was really, really good. So. And hey, I really, really want to just say a special thanks to Heiko for taking us out. And especially to Sammy, who, man, that dude, Sammy, you know how to fish, bro. So really, I had a great time fishing with you. Uh, you know your stuff. Well, uh, willing to fish with you anytime. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for, for uh, you know, teaching me quite a few things and there it was really a good day yeah and so. if you're not already subscribed to Heiko's channel go check it oh. out and subscribe because exactly. you'll see Captain Dam on his channel all the time anyway that's true yep there you go so oh. we are going to do another giveaway and it's gonna be on Sunday the 25th of February yeah. right after that we're gonna go to the nautical flea market for you all you guys down here who run the nautical world, we will see you at the nautical flea market on Saturday. Saturday, yes. We'll be working a booth there. Yes, we'll be at the beer tent I was in gonna the say, back. It's gonna be a surprise booth, it's oh. a beer tent. <laughs> so we'll be at the nautical flea market, and then uh, on Sunday at, let's make it one o'clock. Yep. One o'clock on Sunday the 25th, we will do another giveaway. We have a really cool giveaway present. I mean, we got a bunch of them. We got some good cups, we got some um, some shirts, we have some, well, we got one really, really surprise one. Yeah, that's um, gonna be very good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It's a prototype, it's not even on the market yet. And so whoever wins this thing, I want feedback because the the uh, the vendor is asking me for feedback of what they, what, what people are gonna think of this particular item. And so it's really a cool, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, you don't want to miss this one. It, it, right. As a reminder, oh. to enter into the giveaway, there is a link in the description box. You click the link, we're going to ask you for your email address because quite frankly, when we do a giveaway, we want to be able to get a hold of you. Yeah. Now, if you are a member of the channel, you are automatically entered 10 times. Yep. So you don't have to go re-register, but if you win and you're a member, please pay attention because we want to get you the thing you want. Yeah, absolutely. So, and we appreciate every single member. We yes. appreciate all of our subscribers and uh, you know, we love you guys. So, That's right. Anyway. You're the best ever. We can't wait to chat yep. with you next Sunday, the 25th. 5th. February. Yes. One o'clock. One o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. It's on the East Coast. All right, yeah. you know what to do. Ah, follow, follow us. us. This is my spot. You, you, uh, this is my spot, bro. You gotta get the hell out. <laughs> that's the plan. Boat right. is loaded down. With you didn't some... say catch anything. We're gonna catch anything? I mean, that's oh. the. 
What happened to that part of the plan? Where's the, where's the, we're going to catch something? We're going to drive around right. all freaking day. Birds we're, gonna gonna birds. Birds. we're driving around looking for birds. You know, hey, bird. Hey, bird. All right, there's, there's a bird. There's a bird. We're going to keep going. Are you on a fish? No, no, no. It's just birds. Fishing. <laughs> What, All right. is, what is fishing? Look, I even brought my binoculars. This is why it's so hard to fish around here. You see what I'm talking about? You're saying Jersey? Uh, again, that's, again, that's what she said, right? That's what she said. That's what she said. It's the first video clip. It's just Danny going, you suck. <laughs> GoPro, you suck, GoPro. What's wrong with it? All right. Oh, now it's, now it's back on. It, it does what, basically, it does whatever it wants to do. Uh, Whenever it wants to do. So I'd be sleeping in the middle of the night and I'm going, beep, 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 beep. No more political jokes Dan made all the... Not me. I didn't say a damn thing about Dan politics. was speaking Asian earlier oh. with an Asian accent. <laughs> <laughs> he says about Pad Thai, Nam Thai. Yeah, oh, you said I don't like Nam Thai, Pad Thai. Nam Thai, Can you get us home, please? I want to go home. At a reasonable hour, all let's right, go. Right. Get myself my wooden spoon. Just like the fishing rod of cooking. Very important for this dish, I put in sea salt. Because it is, it is after all, aqua pasta, crazy water. All right, so, so far, so good. Pretty good. All right. And the sauce. Oh, my God, after all that, I would <laughs> kill myself. We hate the GoPro. Yeah, see, we do hate the GoPro, see, I told you. Okay. We do. We don't like the GoPro. We just don't. I mean, we can't say it anymore. We've said it enough. People are going to get sick of that. Yeah, we're still using the damn thing. So, anyway. All right. We can make it a surprise. <laughs> oh, we could. Okay. Oh, uh, mm. But how would people find us? Yeah, that's right. They would have to go. Well, they could find us if they went to the beer tent. Surprise!